Originally, we bottled everything by hand, and then we located an old bottling machine. It was made in Philadelphia in 1963 by Crown Cork and Seal Company, and it was used to fill soda bottles. So we picked that up in Pittsburgh, brought it back, spent some time tweaking it up, greasing her down, and uh, once we were good on that, he pushed the button and the thing fired up. Boxcar got started in 2006. We put together a small lot of money with some uh, friends and family. We certainly didn't come out of the gate with a million dollars to go and buy the shiniest new brew house, but I think what we lack in that sort of end of it, we kind of made up in the knowledge that we gained and, and being able to apply that. I'm Tom, I'm the head brewer here at Boxcar. We're standing in the original tap room. And we'll go next door and we'll start the tour at our brew house. Tom came on with us a couple of years ago. He constantly calls me MacGyver, you know, in the sense of, I'll, I'll say, well, we're gonna do this, and most people are like, that's not gonna work, and then one way or another, it works. We have a lot of repurposed equipment here at Boxcar. This is a screw auger that came from a bakery. We use this to elevate grain and then mill it, and we actually can position this whole unit over top of our mash tun here and crush the grain right into the mash tun. Uh, this is another piece of repurposed equipment. This is an old milk chiller from a dairy farm. The process here is basically about converting starches into sugars. Uh, we actually use canoe oars to stir this around as well to agitate. From there, I'll go over to our uh, boil kettle. This came out of a barbecue sauce factory, and this thing works great. We can get about 400 gallons of wort boiling in about 20 minutes or so. After that's done, we need to chill the wort down before we can add the yeast. So the way we do that is with this plate heat exchanger. This is another repurposed piece of equipment. It comes from the dairy industry as well. That's why you notice it says milk in and milk out here. So this would normally be used for cooling down milk. And we'll fill up a fermenter from there. This is our fermentation room. This is kind of the first part of our brewery where we get into equipment that is actually meant to be for the brewing industry. It seems like anytime a piece of stainless steel gets associated with the brewing industry, the price gets jacked up 300, 400% for some reason. So there's more than one way to skin a cat. If you walk around boxcar, you'll find many ways to skin a cat.